Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues, guests. May I declare the meeting of the dissertation board open today? We are going to review the dissertation by Abdul Ghaffar Adina Muhammad, the role of international organization in settling the Afghan conflict in the 21st century. The dissertation is dedicated to specialty 230004, political uh, international issues, global and regional development. Under the decree of St. Petersburg State University as of March 15, 2018, 1876-1, me, Konstantin Pentsarev, Doctor of Political Sciences, uh, Associate Professor of the uh, Theory and History of International Relations Department at St. Petersburg State University, was appointed to chair this meeting. My colleagues are Natalia Tsvetkova, Professor of uh, American Studies Department, Andre Toro Puigin, Professor of International Relations Department, Northwestern Institute of Government, and Andre Rusakovich, Professor of Belarusian State University, Belarus, is with us online. And once again, Nikolai Dobrun Ravov is our last member, Doctor of Political Sciences, Professor of International Politics Department. He's absent today due to important commitments. First of all, may I mention that according to the federal law, uh, as of uh, August 23rd, 1996, number 127 on science and uh, public policies in science. St. Petersburg State University was granted an exceptional right to award academic decrees. Today we are having our meeting according to decree 6821-1 uh, as of uh, September 1, 2016. According to this uh, decree, the meeting of a dissertation board is considered legitimate unless no, more, no less than two-thirds of its uh, initial composition is present. Today we are having four members out of five, including one member online. Thus, we are four, and the quorum is there. So we can, we, the dissertation board meeting is legitimate. First of all, I would like to give an overview of the procedure. So we are supposed to stay for no more than two hours. The meeting starts with the chairman's report, then the report by the defendant. 15 minutes maximum sharp. Questions to the defendant on his report, no more than two minutes per question. Defendant's replies. Then the reviews submitted by members of the dissertation board. All the reviews have been downloaded to St. Petersburg State University website, so I'm going to focus on recommendations only. Then members of the dissertation board take turns in declaring their reviews, asking questions to the defendant and putting forward recommendations no more than 10 minutes per speaker. Then defendants replies to the questions and recommendations submitted by members of the dissertation board and the open discussion. So as members of the audience can put forward their contributions, their statements, or ask questions to the defendant, no more than five minutes per every speaker. I would like to urge all the potential speakers to register in advance on the list and to introduce themselves in full before taking the floor. Then the defendant's replies, five minutes maximum to be followed by 
the address of the research supervisor, three minutes maximum, and in conclusion, the discussion on whether to award the aspired academic degree or not. This discussion is not broadcasted. To be followed by an, a vote, an open voting by name, counting of vote, and making the decision whether pass or fail. To be concluded by the final address. Before we Im start implementing this procedure, may I urge everyone to switch off their mobile devices. Thank you for compliance. I will also inform you that we are having an online broadcasting as well as video recording. Simultaneous translation is there from Russian into English and vice versa. So let's start imp to implement the procedure. First and foremost, I would like to inform you on the key documents submitted by the defendant to the dissertation board. The dissertation by uh, Abdul Ghaffar Adina Muhammad, the role of international organization in settling the Afghan conflict in, in the 21st century, submitted in the specialty 23004, political uh, issues and international relations, global and regional development was accepted on March 16, 2018 by the dissertation board. The composition of the dissertation board has been approved by a relevant decree issued in March 2018. The defendant has submitted the following documents. The application address to Professor Kropachev, St. Petersburg University Rector, on the opportunity to defend his dissertation submitted in December 2017. The report uh, by the research supervisor, Professor Alexeeva, list of publications, five overall, reflecting the key findings. A certificate certifying that the defendant uh, has undergone relevant studies, certifying that Abdul Ghaffar Adina Muhammad from October 21, 2014 to August 31, 2017 studied in St. Petersburg State University as a postgraduate student in political sciences. He has successfully passed the exams having B and A in political sciences and, and a foreign language, respectively. The diploma certifying that the defendant has successfully graduated from the Tajikistan State University and has the credentials in international relations issued in June 28, 2010. The diploma certifying that the uh, defendant has successfully com uh, completed a course, a postgraduate course in St. Petersburg State University as of uh, June 2017 to be followed by the dissertation in Russian and English in soft and hard copies drafted according to all the relevant requirements. All these documents comply with the documents indicated in the academic degree awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University. Distinguished colleagues, this is it for my part. Now I would like to give the floor to the defendant to deliver his speech.
Uh, Excellencies. Uh, Excellencies, uh, member of uh, commission, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, by your permission, I would like to present my presentation about the role of international organization in the settlement of Afghan conflict in 21st century, uh, political issues of international relations, global and regional development, and uh, uh, the thematic justification or relevance of uh, research by the further to uh, uh, by the 20th century, earlier 21st century, Afghanistan, uh, Afghanistan has become one of the failed states uh, of the Middle East state over a historical short period of time. The rocket the streak of COP did aggravated by ethno-political conflicts, civil war, and wide-scale foreign intervention. Notwithstanding meaningful participation by the world community, in its resolution over decades. The conflict in Afghanistan was never settled. Over mainly international aspects of the, its resolution appear to be essential for analysts. The Afghan conflict, which had cropped up even in the previous century, has internal gradually reached international proportion on a number of reasons. Firstly, during the Cold War, discrepancies between the USSR and United States of America, and their rivalry for geopolitical superiority in the Middle East region, propelled the Afghan conflict to the global level. Secondly, Afghanistan regional neighbors, especially Pakistan, were serving to dispute the ethno-political balance in the country. In an outcome, the Afghan conflict has gained such trace, has a multi-actorness and multi-level aftermath for international relations. Until recently, the conflict has not faded away on the, can on the country in the approach of the globalization. It's assumed new shape. Not only numerous states allied under the anti-terrorism coalition, uh, but also international structure combating local Afghan radical Islamist groups, fighter of Al-Qaeda and Taliban, international tourism network system, and since recently the Islam states of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, either overly of clandestinely were involved in Afghanistan's conflict. By nowadays, Afghanistan conflict environment has undergone dramatic trans transformation from preeminently military operation to the political diplomatic process of international and internal politics reconciliation that is especially important after the withdrawal of the Western coalition troops in 2014. Uh, the international governmental organization, and particularly the United Nations Organization of Security Cooperation in Europe, Shanghai Organization Cooperation, a Collective Security Treaty Organization, and other are essential to stabilization of the political and economic situation in Afghanistan. It regrettably, the role of various international organizations is perceived by the Afghan security differently. As such, for instance, the United Nations peacekeeping efforts are sharply criticized for allegedly poor performances. Simultaneously, the role of regional international structure frequently appears to be more meaning meaningful while addressing certain aspects of Afghan conflict. Uh, in the recent time, a great bulk of trust has been built, particularly the Shanghai Organization Cooperation, the organization which had been given renewed structure on account of the entry process by the two hallmark countries in the conflict, India and Pakistan. Therefore, the relevance of this paper boils down to analyze of performance efficiency of various international organizations had had their genus of competence level as long as they attain the objective of Afghanistan peaceful development. 
The subject, uh, the study object is peace enforced by the international intergovernmental organizations. The study question is the Afghan issue in the activity by the international intergovernmental organizations. The study object is to, pin to pinpoint the role of international organization in settling the Afghan conflict in the 21st century. In accordance to the object of, objective in the view of the following research task has been set to provide a general insight into the activity by the international organization as actor in the world politics and international relations. To give account of peace building opportunities of the international organization in the 21st century. To put the Afghan conflict in context of historical and contemporary world politics processes. To shed light on the objective economic and social political functions for improvement of the situation in Afghanistan, to carry out the comparative study of effort by international organization on the Afghan crisis relations, resolutions, to outline perspective for peace establishment in Afghanistan. The, the methodology background of study is comprised of a systematic and structural functional analysis method, whereby the conflict situation in Afghanistan viewed mostly from the angel of conflict intercourse actors, the two tires, the global, the United Nations and NATO lead anti-terrorist coalition, and national one, the Taliban movement, uh, Ahmed Karzai's government, the North Alliance. For sure, the regional factor is not ignored as well Pakistan, the Central Asian nations. The conflict in Afghanistan is externalized actors, uh, the functional spheres, political, social, ethno-religious, military, strategic, strategic relations, and intercourse, it's, very, it's foreign and inter actors. Extend coverage of the issues. While writing the thesis was relying upon a, a broad spectrum of sources and literature by Russian, Western, and Afghan scholars. The, the source basis of the thesis, document of international Document of the International Organization, Convention by the United Nations Security Council, and General Assembly of uh, Assembly on the Afghan Crisis, as well NATO, Shanghai Organization Cooperation, Organization Security Cooperation in Europe, and Collective Security Treaty Organization. The official speech by the political letter, letters of the conflict bent states and engaged in its resolution. Statical data. Novelty of the thesis research, the role of the global actors regulating Afghanistan crisis has been defined, has assisted the place and role of international intergovernmental organization in stabilization of Afghanistan, has evoluted a range of routes for a country's crisis recovery. The works by the Afghan authors not yet translated in Russian have been introduced in the scholars of scholars of this course. The aspects to be submitted for the thesis defensor, the, in the modern world, there, ha, there has not been any global military conflicts for more than 70 years. Much of it's owed to the United Nations. However, numerous local conflict which divides nature or heart to eliminate. In this sense, the peace building idea is desired and has never before implementation wherefore amounts to the effort by the international organizations, which are more competent at, at conflict arrangement than a state. This is caused by the very nature of international organizations. We are national interests of separate of states or outbalanced by maintenance of regional and in some case of global security. The conflict, the, the Afghan conflict of early 21st century futures are unparalleled bundle of issues. Solution where, whereof is feasible merely through the agency of neighbor states acting on behalf of different regional entities. The Afghan conflict harbors regional ethnic, confusional, territorial resources, logistical, and other concerns, which cannot be addressed unless common possession of the regional international com community or aligned. The peace-building conferences of the regional actors 
from various levels and status under the United Nations agencies is necessary. Restoration of, restoration of full power and authority of the Afghan state calls for elaboration and of an universal roadmap on economic revitalization of the state, while drawing other states and business community to developing vast resources and natural climate race of Afghanistan, which since the ancient time has been a trade road across the hub and con concentration of integrational links between different regions uh, of the Grand Middle East. The probable perspective of the Afghan conflict resolution rests upon the reversion to the neutrality policy, which was typically of Afghanistan in the first half of the 20th century. This aspiration could be strengthened by internal regionalization of the Afghan state in reliance on a peace accord and ethnic reciprocal understanding. Practical implication, implication of this thesis, the principal as aspects of this work can be used in academic activities. The monograph might come useful for working out educational courses on issues of regional cooperation and crisis management by international organizations. The conclusion and material of the thesis could also be used as an analytical local uh, tool the various state power authorities, especially the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The material of the, the thesis might prove to be a platform for further scholar research on a, on a broad range of the issues political science. Uh, thesis, thesis evolution. The study outcome were delivered uh, by the Outer International Scientific Conference roundtables devoted, uh, devoted to the Afghan conflict resolution agenda on the subject of the thesis, published five articles as a, and in the journal from Higher Attestation Commission. The thesis structure, the thesis uh, consists of int introduction for chapter, conclusion, and less of references and literature. The entire volume of the thesis or equal to 168 pages. Conclusion. International and regional organizations have to act actively part in settlement of Afghanistan conflict. United Nations Shanghai Organization Cooperation and the Islamic, uh, Organization of Islamic Cooperation and, uh, and other international regional organizations should recognize and support neutrality status of Afghanistan based on international principle laws. Avoid interference of other states in internal and foreign affairs of Afghanistan. United Nations Security Council should put more pressure by issuance and the adoption of sanctions on Pakistan and Iran for supporting terrorism inside Afghanistan. Peace talks with Taliban, high, high peace council, the only effective methods of settlement is Afghanistan. This entity was uh, uh, established in Afghanistan in a, after the decision of Louis Jirga as an Afghan entity to settle and uh, to, to manage the, the conflict between uh, Taliban and also Hizb Islami. The recent achievement of this peace council was uh, after negotiation, Hizb Islami became a part of government, Hikmatyar, joined after two, 20 years uh, with, the, with the Afghan government. For fighting against international terrorism, which is not a threat not to Afghanistan, the United Nations has to work on effective mechanisms. The other mechanism that has been worked by the United Nations in Afghanistan and sending the troops to Afghanistan by helping the NATO was not as effective as before. Day by day, the security con condition is uh, becoming worse and worse, and more threats are uh, rising. And uh, improvement of Afghanistan implementation uh, of improvement project energies, energy sections, construction of roads, railway, agriculture, mining, equipping Afghan, Afghan forces, economy boosting, human capacity uh, building, women participation. Uh, drag uses reduction. And I, I would like to shortly just mention about just uh, during the period of time which I have worked on my uh, thesis, uh, uh, there, as I mentioned it before, there was published some articles and translated some of the, uh, the materials from, uh, from Dari to Russian language. And uh, for 
uh, for gathering of information about peace processes and security challenges, had meeting with Afghan Peace Council of Afghanistan, just which I mentioned that it was established before. And uh, uh, of course, as a, mem as a civil society activist, we had some our idea and uh, suggestion to this Peace Council for the strategy, uh, which they have brought it added about youth's role in the in peace of Afghanistan. It, and. Uh, uh, from 2011 till 2016, I have worked in Ministry of Interior Affairs of Afghanistan as an advisor, which uh, that's why that writing the thesis was not, it was difficult, but not as well, just because we ha I had a close relation and also uh, with uh, different uh, uh, hiring people, starting from minister, deputy minister, and counter-terrorism directorate, which is where uh, we had uh, several meetings and getting information about the condition in, in Afghanistan and security issues. And, uh, and, and also I have it attended during the, my working in, in, in the government in two international conferences. One, in, in, in 2013 I have attended in Montreux conference which was also about security and also private security companies. Uh, I have attended uh, as an official representative of Afghanistan and pre and uh, I had talked about the policy of Afghanistan about private security companies in Afghanistan, which they were performing based on Montreux document. And also in 2015, in December, I had to take part in, in, uh, as a representative of Afghanistan in China, South Asia, and Middle East conference on non-traditional security issues. My talk was uh, conflict in Afghanistan and the role of Shanghai Organization in resolving conflict will describe about challenges of security, regional security condition, the trace of international tourism to the member of Shanghai Organization as well, ISIS on that was growing from the, from the north side to the, from the south to the north side of Afghanistan emerging, was presenting to China government as active member of Shanghai Organization cooperation. The following suggestion was on the side of Afghanistan government, which I have presented. Shanghai Organization uh, Conference has to play mediation role for settlement of conflict between, Af ta between Taliban and Afghanistan government by convincing ta Pakistan. As we all know, China and Paki Pakistan has very good ties and relations. China is investing billion dollars in, 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 in Chabahar, and in Gwadar, in, in, in Pakistan. And Pakistan, China, the only member of the Shanghai Organization can convince easily Pakistan to stop financing tourism and to, talk, to help Afghanistan. Uh, Shanghai Organization uh, cooperation equip and support Afghanistan security forces, especially Afghanistan border police, which pro protects the border of the Shanghai Organization cooperation members, has China, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Pakistan. Shanghai Organization cooperation should empower Uh, should empower the weakened of Afghanistan economy. China currently uh, in, uh, has like more than one billion contract in the road co construction road and also in the, in mining in the north of Afghanistan and a copper mine in in province of Logar and uh, CRBC and CNPC, the very the biggest governmental Chinese uh, companies are working in Afghanistan. And uh, I. Uh, I uh, would like to just uh, quickly finish my talks. The, 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 another issue is, which is like uh, one of the reasons of the security in Afghanistan is unemployment. Around more than 40% of Afghanistan people are, uh, they don't have job due to a lack of opportunities and jobs in Afghanistan. And that's why a lot of uh, Afghanistan people are traveling to other countries and they're joining the Taliban and they're joining the international tourism and for to support your family and and they're going back to Pakistan to learn in uh, to learn more and on terror issues and uh, it, currently in, from 2015 uh, more half million of educated Afghanistan people uh, immigrated from Afghanistan to Turkey and uh, to European countries to Afghanistan is after after Syria the second country and uh, we have lost billion of dollars for their, uh, we have uh, that Afghanistan uh, donated or sponsored for their education. It's one of the, one of the, we can say the challenges for the security. About the refugees, uh, just we have more than six million refugees in other countries, and especially nowadays a lot more than 100,000 Afghan people are fighting in Syria on behalf of Iran, which is their 
involving Afghanistan in this war indirectly. When Afghanistan people are fighting against ISIS or on behalf of Iran, and we have some reactions, which is they are killing ISIS, killing a lot of Shia in Afghanistan by uh, terror. And uh, we had a lot of casualties. And uh, the, I, wanna, I, I can mention that this issue is very problematic to our country. Violation of women right, women. Uh, uh, cor uh, corruption has mentioned in my uh, page 68 and also 159. It is mentioned in my thesis. Corruption is one of another issues which Afghanistan has a bad image on that, and uh, uh, we have a lot of an improvement on that issues. And uh, about uh, opium, uh, as a whole of we know that 93 percent of opium of uh, world, world oil production is in Afghanistan, and uh, more than 400,000 uh, uh, people are working on on the production of the web, uh, opium there. But unfortunately, uh, three million Afghans are addicted. Just uh, if we, the, the, uh, from a static of the population in Afghanistan, 33 million, but in 10%, it's nearly 10% of the people are addicted. Uh, thank you very much for attention. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your report. Colleagues. Questions to the defendant. Abdul. Okay. Abdul, I'm sorry, I'm going to speak in Russian. I have to speak in Russian. I've got two questions about your presentation. So you got it. Two questions, right? My first question is as follows. Mm -hmm. China, as a contributor, well, China, does China already have agreements with Pakistan on not supporting terrorism? Or are those only our assumptions? Is it our guess? I mean that the uh, Shanghai Organization of Cooperation is going to urge China to establish this agreement. My second question is international organizations that you reviewed, did they participate in negotiations with Taliban on settling the Afghan conflict? Are my questions clear? Uh, you got thank them? you very much for the question. Not easy. And uh, about uh, negotiation of China and uh, with Pakistan and Taliban, uh, there were uh, arranged uh, several negotiation process uh, by China in Beijing, which attended Taliban members there and also from Afghanistan side. Our National Security Advisor, Ex His Excellency Anif Hadmar, and from the member of Peace Council of Afghanistan has attended here. Uh, has a, China has an active member of Shanghai organization took the responsibility to bring peace because China is investing billion of dollars in Afghanistan and they seize their interest in peace in Afghanistan. And as you know better, just the ATM or the, the Chinese tourist group which is fighting in Afghanistan with one of the trades to China. And uh, actually, uh, the problem is, is that Pakistan is never will be a honest partner to none of this, China, Russia, to Afghanistan. And uh, there was negotiation, but there is no achievement and result. And, uh, and according, uh, uh, regarding your second question, and, uh, uh, and di uh, directly none of this organization didn't take part of uh, negotiation in Afghanistan, but indirectly, the UNAMA, which, is a, uh, which was created in Afghanistan uh, for political uh, agency of uh, UN, they had some peace negotiations, which was, uh, as I mentioned, if there was result, right now Afghanistan was a stable country, there was not any problem. Uh, in 2015, the Taliban could have the control of 5%. Right now, unfortunately, the Taliban has more than 40% of the territory control of Afghanistan. They're, they're threatening. That's why I just say, in my thesis I have mentioned that none of this international organization was not efficient in Afghanistan peace building. In the future, just if this organization has to take 
the basic role and play the basic role, on that time we will have a peaceful Afghanistan. Peace in Afghanistan, peace in the region, peace in the region, peace in the world. It is why my, uh, my, my talk in China conference on that time in 2015, ISIS Taliban was not on power, it was a, like a threat in the future. Thank you very much. Distinguished colleagues, more questions to the defendant. Thank you so much. Thank you, Batwar. No more questions. So you can take a seat. Thank you. Colleagues, let's uh, declare the two external reviews submitted for this. Uh, dissertation. So the dissertation by Abdul Ghaffa Adina Muhammad has generated two external reviews. The first review is submitted by the acting member of the OSCN, Eslamir Latifov. The review is positive. All the reviews are submitted to, uh, and are posted on St. Petersburg State University website. So but therefore, I would like to focus on the recommendations only. The first recommendation is, I would like to note the positive and the negative results of deploying uh, the Russian core and their uh, function in peacekeeping, peace building. In some fragments of your dissertation, you have discordant statements on Russia's peacekeeping efforts in Afghanistan. You should have been more focused on the U.S. policies and, their, uh, and the U.S. making use of Afghanistan as the key uh, platform to reinforce their actions. The fourth recommendation. in some uh, provisions where you mention uh, the talibs and their control over the territories. You should have mentioned this fact. And lastly, the overall peace building mission and some provisions of the Section 3.2, including the NATO role, should have been uh, included into a different chapter, including the Herzegovina operations. Nevertheless, Professor Latipova mentions that this does not invalidate the findings of the dissertation, so the conclusion is that the defendant deserves to be awarded the aspired academic degree. So Abdul deserves to be awarded the aspired academic degree of candidate of political sciences. And the second external review was submitted by uh, Dr. Court Jacobite. So the uh, this the review was submitted by David De Bartolo, the pro professional lecturer in law, George Washington University Law. So the review is in general positive, and Professor De Bartolo claims that it can be concluded the thesis deserves to be awarded with the degree of PhD in political sciences. This uh, review is submitted in English. There are some recommendations, so I would read them out. In light of these tensions and obstacles, whether an increased role for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the Collective Security Treaty Organization is likely to help to or hinder the resolution of the conflict in Afghanistan. And uh, one area for further ex exploration might be the prospects and the limits of the United Nations acting in, in this manner. For example, what leverage can the United Nations ex exert when acting in this manner, and how can it hold others, other international organizations, states and non-governmental -gover actors, account 
accountable for their activities and their co commitments. Does the United Nations put its reputation at risk if it acts as a convener or facilitator in this way, but uh, benefits fail to materialize due to insufficient efforts by others? These are the recommendations, the questions asked by Professor De Bartolo. And I also would like to read out the review by Professor Dobrin Ravin, a member of the Dissertation Council who is absent due to important commitments. So overall, his assessment of the uh, dissertation is positive, and he recommends uh, to award the defendant the aspired academic degree. The criticism is as follows. The findings are evidence-based, but for finding number four, the peacekeeping settlement, the peace settlement of the Afghan conflict is about neutrality, which was typical for Afghanistan in the first half of the 20th century. This might be fueled by regionalization of Afghanistan based on irrelevant peace treaty and ethnic understanding. The defendant shows that this, the challenge with Afghanistan and Pakistan is far, is far from being resolved as for the treaty on internal regionalization. It is yet unclear how to define ethnical representations once we remember that most minorities are far from resembling European ethnic minorities. The wording of informal political actors, Section 3, is uh, failing it because it is difficult to realize why does the def does why do those actors are labeled as informal actors and not non-governmental actors? The sources and the uh, bibliography overall is not very well structured. So these uh, recommendations do not invalidate the key findings. So this is the report by Nikolai Dobrin Ravin. Now I would like to give the floor to Natalia to deliver her speech. Thank you so much, distinguished chairman Abdul. I'm not going to read out my report, but I would like to expand on the so-called extra part. I mean, this is what is valuable there in your dissertation. I would like to say a couple of words about your achievements. When I was presented with your dissertation, so I addressed the question to myself, what else can be there about Afghanistan? Because there is a plethora of articles and books, research papers in different languages on Afghanistan. However, I was uh, fascinated by your dissertation because you know very well the activities of international organization, so the sources, the data. Some of the sources are indeed uh, so exciting because those were in Pashto, in Dari languages, and this makes your dissertation highly valuable. You are a true scholar. You and your research supervisor have successfully produced a very well-balanced dissertation. What does that do I mean by that? I mean that you are not joining any specific political position for a person who comes from Afghanistan by origin. This is something unthought of. You have successfully demonstrated what's going on in Afghanistan and what are the up and down sides of 
international organization because what we know is the upsides only be overlooked dramatically the downsides of their activities. Therefore, I believe that your dissertation is highly valuable and I believe that this will in the future result in a book published in Russian and or in English. As for some recommendations, well, my first recommendation is about the Soviet Russia and this is something that was mentioned by a professor from Tajikistan who said about the Soviet Russia, the USSR. My question is different and I'm concerned about this question for many years already. What's your take on the USSR intervention? Uh, did it uh, fuel, did it facilitate the establishment of Taliban group? So you remember that there was, uh, that the population was averse to a Soviet core and their deployment. But the second question is uh, about China. Well, China provides Afghanistan with economic assistance. Can China assume the role of a potential stabili stabilization factor, being a power, an economic power, I mean? And my third point is what you take on the international organizations and their ability to uh, to make it, uh, I mean, to uh, reconciliate the ethnic groups in Afghanistan. Can they fuel the reconciliation process in Afghanistan? Well, I should say that all these questions do not invalidate your research. It is a very valuable research and it deserves to be awarded this by the academic degree, the candidate of political science, uh, sciences in uh, problems of international and global and regional development. So I'm looking forward to your replies. Thank you so much for your presentation and for your labor. Thank you so much, Natalie. Now I would like to give the floor to our next speaker. Let me say first that um, Afghanistan uh, is a hot subject, um, and a lot of has been a lot of research has been published. But, but in the light that we uh, we heard it today, as in the light of the role of international organizations and their efforts uh, to resolve the conflict, well is uh, a new thing to me and I haven't seen much research about it. So in this um, sense, uh, this is a, a very original work. So as far as the um, the, the things that are, I've read about Afghanistan, well, there's a lot of uh, studies about research, about Afghanistan and very interesting research. But the second uh, chapter that we, that we see in this dissertation is um, is a short is a short version of a new good work that would cover Afghanistan and the history of uh, this country as well at least uh, the history of the conflict in Afghanistan that you uh, you see uh, unfolding at the moment and therefore on the one hand, it's very interesting research. On the other hand, uh, we maybe uh, went too too deep uh, into something that maybe is uh, a bit uh, aside from your direct research interest. Well, uh, well, this. This could be a discussion point, but uh, but I would like to cite some uh, pages that um, you that I see slightly problematic. That the peacemaking activity uh, of international actors is still at a low level, and on the other hand. Uh, 
international organizations have to become real competitors uh, uh, in resolving international conflicts. Uh, well, I think there's um, some kind of contradiction here because international in organizations are what uh, what they have the mandate that is given to them uh, by, by uh, member states and uh, and it's not it's not the ability of the international organization to increase its international status but it's the ability of, of uh, member states uh, that will increase this well, and you, always, you also say that uh, these efforts are not so effective because member states or different countries uh, have different interests and uh, uh, their efforts are discordant. And another thing, you write, and very correctly, that uh, it's important to find a common platform for all participants in resolving this uh, situation in Afghanistan. This is absolutely right, and I couldn't uh, but agree with it. But you suggest uh, as a platform, as a common platform, uh, uh, is the fight against the common enemy of ISIL. And I think uh, maybe this is not cur entirely correct, because we see that uh, that the fight against ISIL uh, generates conflict and contradictions and uh, what uh, used to be clear uh, has uh, is now a, a bone of contention for many countries so so I would like to hear your opinion about this uh, in your answers as far as the the whole work this is a very interesting work and i undoubtedly will vote f for uh del for uh, granting you the aspired degree and i would like to give the floor to andrei rusakovich please dear chairman dear members of the council dear defendant the work that uh, we are discussing now that is being defended at the moment is very original and very relevant in the context of regional problems and global problems and this actually uh, super relevant the the bulk of work that has been uh, done by the author and the recommendations that he has made in the context of international organizations are all very important and uh, are, can be used uh, in practice. Of course, uh, if we have the political will of, uh, on the part of the countries that are involved and the whole uh, global community. And uh, for me, uh, it was very important for me to hear that the defendant was practically involved himself in resolving this that he that he participated in the conference on, on peace making in the region and uh, and therefore uh, he has a balanced view and uh, this is an effort to objectively assess the process and uh, and of course uh, these efforts of objectively assessing the problem uh, uh, have are far from over. And I will not maybe read uh, the complementary part uh, of my uh, review, but I will concentrate on the um, controversial points. Again, uh, these are more controversial points rather than uh, uh, criticism. But and I, I agree that the author has the right to see problem as he fits. So, the the first one is that, uh, uh, as far as the definition of Afghan conflict, uh, uh, so I think that the definitions are too broad, and and, and these broad definitions um, dilute the importance of the work. 
and uh, maybe even uh, imp have an impact on the theses uh, that are being defended and the conclusions. The second, the author should have given uh, his own definition of the concept of Afghan conflict and maybe putting this uh, conflict into the context, in the historical cont context. Uh, or uh, a national context and regional context. The third, probably another drawback, is the um, the limit uh, limits of the sources, uh, because uh, well, there are three groups of uh, sources. Uh, uh, you have used other sources, but you haven't cited them, and and. As, and this could really improve the methodological um, basis of the research. This next thing is the, the uh, and of course the when the uh, the statehood of Afghan of the Af Afghan country uh, when one pe period uh, falls out of the uh, scope of the dissertation. Uh, and um, also the role of Russia. Well, I would like to hear the clarification that uh, uh, the position of Russian Federation uh, is is too cautious. Um, and uh, and I would like to say that the Russian Federation uses a comprehensive approach to to the resolution of the conflict uh, that would involve uh, all actors in the conflict. And, uh, well, there's a Moscow format uh, on the Conference of Afghanistan and and the uh, uh, revitalization of. Um, of a group of uh, international uh, 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 international actors, uh, and uh, of course, there's a technical maybe uh, drawback. Two examples: the uh, pages 56, 57 uh, about the drug uh, drug trafficking. Um, but but these uh, recommendations, these uh, criticisms uh, do not uh, diminish the value of this dissertation. And I uh, uh, believe that the dissertation that is presented for defense uh, totally complies with the requirements of St. Petersburg State University uh, in terms of uh, granting the degrees of PhD. And uh, the defendant uh, is entitled to being granted the sought degree. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrei Vladimirovich. And I would like to uh, to give you an overview of my review. First of all, I'd like to say, dear defendant, that I like your work very much. And I think that it's written in very good language, very clear language, and uh, covering a very relevant topic. And the, the advantages uh, of the work include that you know this problem from the inside, and uh, you use the uh, you use your knowledge of the uh, languages. And you introduced a lot of uh, international uh, international literature into our uh, body of Russia, uh, uh, literature. And uh, another ad uh, advantage is the logical structure of the dissertation, and uh, it, the composition of the dissertation is uh, well built. And uh, as far as the criticisms, um, well, of course. Uh, this, you know, to uh, to eliminate those, uh, you would improve uh, by eliminating eliminating those. You would improve the quality of your paper. First, uh, you would con uh, make uh, concrete to concrete uh, the goal. What do you mean by the authors? Authors, well. Maybe it's a typo. The third, uh, 
have to clarify the methodological basis. Page 6, you, you say that uh, methodological basis is the method of systemic and structural functional structural analysis. Although, and uh, you also say that uh, this is uh, about, uh, the, you, you look at the problem at national and international uh, levels, uh, and uh, you look at the role of Karzai and Taliban, etc. And I'm not sure I understand uh, what, what, how you use uh, a particular research methods in, uh, in your work. This next one, in the, f in the first chapter, pages uh, 12 to 14, you talked about the first international organizations uh, and from 1815, this information, uh, you could find this information in any reference book. Uh, we are interested in in the role of international organizations. So, in the, I would like to recommend you um, maybe to trace uh, the changes in the role of these international organizations, uh, especially with the inclusion after the uh, Second World War. Fortunately, um, this is not in the in the paper, the work. On page forty-three, you. You say that in, in modern international organizations have to increase their international status and become to become competitive in resolving the uh, international conflicts. I think this uh, statement is wrong because uh, the status uh, of international organizations depends on the wishes of the member states. Uh, and uh, the international organizations cannot increase their status uh, by themselves. Uh, they are a discussion platform where constructive uh, positions of different countries uh, could be generated in resolving uh, pressing issues uh, that uh, the global community f is facing. The next comment. I think that this third chapter of the work doesn't reflect um, the content because the, n the title is the comparative uh, analysis of uh, international organizations, but uh, in reality you analyze uh, activity of international organizations, but you don't compare them between the, each other in terms of effectiveness uh, of, uh, of their decisions. And uh, I'm not sure why at the end of this chapter, uh, besides the, in addition to the uh, international organizations, you also uh, look at different destructive uh, groups. Well, this uh, topic is very multifaceted and needs a lot of research and uh, rec probably would be required, this information would be required uh, introduction of a uh, new chapter and uh, you, you only dedicate 10 pages to it and th this is not enough to uh, cover this complicated topic. And I would like you to uh, read through your paper on 150960 uh, you uh, repeat uh, with the same words uh, what you say in, on page 60 about social and economic problems of Afghanistan. And there, were, there are some other identical remarks, 155 and, one, and 66, page 66, that, that uh, you talk about uh, uh, different other aspects of Afghanistan and in terms of the sources on page uh, 187 I would like to say uh, why you, you delineate a group of sources there and what's the meaning of it 
And of course, uh, these uh, criticisms are of more uh, um, uh, imp uh, improving rela uh, improvement related uh, uh, character. And I would like to say that uh, your work is a rounded work, as a, co a complete work that is uh, that uh, is characterized by high quality of research and. Um, and it complies with the requirements uh, of St. Petersburg State University um, in decree uh, 2016 uh, about the uh, regular uh, with the regulations on awarding uh, PhD degrees, and you are entitled uh, to be granted uh, uh, a PhD in political science. Uh, and, uh, and the major and regional uh, studies and uh, that's all I have and so now uh, please defendant uh, you have the the opportunity to answer uh, the reviewers thank you very much Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, uh, regarding uh, the questions, uh, I will um, uh, about the intervention uh, of uh, Russia. First, your question and uh, 1978 uh, based on request of Afghanistan government, the uh, Russian USSR troops uh, deployed to Afghanistan and uh, uh, in as a result of the COP, uh, the Daud Khan regime was destroyed and his member family, everyone was killed because the, what the reason was uh, uh, expansion of uh, communism, Leninism in the region and it has uh, uh, the uh, different reasons and also the, during the Cold War. Actually, as your question was, uh, uh, Russian or SSR intervention in Afghanistan did have any negative effect in the security in Afghanistan. Of course, it had. When Russian deployed uh, military operation in Afghanistan, United States of America was worried about presence of uh, Soviet Union in Afghanistan and they have spent a billion of dollars on sponsoring and uh, helping Mujahideen groups in territory of Pakistan, uh, Saudi Arabia, United States of America, NATO members for struggling in a big game against USSR and uh, United States of America. Six million Afghanistan left the country and uh, around two more than two millions people were killed actually other side we can just and uh, intervention on invasion of United uh, USSR could help Afghanistan as well in, in infrastructure economy and, and in a military Afghanistan became a powerful country in the region on that time but unfortunately just Afghanistan lost the neutrality and the, the intervention and in, uh, interference of other countries could make a big problem that right now Afghanistan is facing with that. And uh, about the China, or your second question, China can play the, as a uh, essential or a, a, a good actor in a, in a civilization of Afghanistan. Of course, China can play as an active member of Shanghai Organization Cooperation and as a, as a neighbor of Afghanistan, which China will never see the dear interest, economical, political interest in insecurity in of Afghanistan. And China will be trying to help Afghanistan to bring peace. That's why, as I mentioned, China could arrange different and several uh, peace negotiation meeting in China and had some talks with, it, with Pakistan. And uh, China investing right now and China has a lot of companies in Afghanistan. 
the only company, just uh, the only country which right now has more contracts in presence of the United States of America and NATO in Afghanistan is China. Uh, just Russia doesn't have this uh, opportunity, or just you're taking more serious on security uh, situation in Afghanistan, and they're not taking part in the economy of Afghanistan, especially which Russia has f full of experience on energy section, which uh, can have the capability to help in Afghanistan investment. And uh, about the role of international organization and settlement of Afghanistan, your third question, if I'm, not, if I'm right on that. Of course, as I mentioned in the past, just this organization couldn't pick, play the basic role. Has, after the 11th of uh, September uh, uh, in uh, United States of America and the international community, especially United States of America and other countries, suddenly felt the threat from Afghanistan, presence of Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden and also the Taliban presence in the region. And after that, the National Security Council of Afghanistan uh, 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 issued a resolution 1385 in 2001, deployed more than 100,000 troops of NATO based on this mandate of resolution to Afghanistan. And the uh, United, Nations Security, United Nations on Security Council of Afghanistan could play at the beginning in 2001 the basic role and it was very important for all states in the region. Russia supported Afghanistan at that time. China supported because the threat which was raised by the Taliban in the region was not only threat to Afghanistan. Till 2014, because the, the idea of presence of NATO troops in Afghanistan was wrong. It must not be any limit of time. Uh, 2014, uh, uh, United uh, NATO withdraw and USA withdraw their troops from Afghanistan. Right now, there are like nearly 10,000 troops are exist in Afghanistan, but the security condition is becoming more problematic to Afghanistan, and that's why, just in my thesis, I mentioned the negative effect and also negative effect of international organization which played in Afghanistan, and they have to be more active and take the basic role in the peace building in Afghanistan. And I have mentioned about Shanghai Organization, about mentioned about United Nations and other entities. Has Uh, about the uh, uh, questions, uh, oh, uh, Your Excellency, about uh, regarding the definition of conflict, uh, uh, that you had a question on that. Just I have read your remarks. Thank you very much. As it was written very well. Uh, about the definition of Afghan conflict, I, I pursued from the fact of that this conflict is modern development in the first century, has a number of important features, multi-layer, global, regional, and internal levels, determined by ethnic diversity as well as by the participation of territorial factors, has these factors in their complex interaction create the idea of the conflict resolution is particularly impossible. However, it seems to me that the new approach of this problem are needed in particular. I think the model of Afghanistan neutrality can be seen as a way to revive the country. And, and, I, and all of your remarks was accepted, yes, and I will work on in my future scientific issues. But the questions, uh, uh, was Excellency and the Rebel which just uh, I have written uh, all of your uh, reports to this uh, carefully, and what was wonderful. Just the only uh, uh, your, about your comments and rec uh, remarks I had about the chapter two from point of view, the conflict in the present condition cannot be fully characterized without understanding. 
the historical roots of the, uh, they're determined by the events of the last century. Especially, it seemed to be, uh, to be important for the Russian audience that is not familiar with number of historical facts or important for understanding the current situation in Afghanistan and region as well. And uh, uh, just maybe it will take more time just to uh, to speak about all the remarks. But I said, as I said, just really while writing, it was not too easy. And uh, I tried my best. Just in the future, I, it will not stop my like scientific issues. I will write down more articles and more issues. Uh, your Excellency, if I'm sure of just uh, about your questions, also as well, I read uh, your report. It was big, and just I, I really appreciate your time. Just you have paid more attention on reading all my thesis. Uh, honestly, appreciate it. And uh, about uh, about this research method system, uh, as I mentioned in my thesis during writing has been used to, uh, in, in, in research in, for effective and efficient of cooperation and involvement of international organizations to, to connect all of these organizations in, in, in settlement of Afghanistan of conflict. And also taking part of international organization and political, economic, social, culture affairs of Afghanistan is essential and important and, uh, uh, for resolving that. That's why this method was used in, in, in the topic and about the structural function, as you mentioned uh, uh, in your report, as I have written that, uh, uh, about uh, structural functional method made it possible to understand more deeply the specific character of development and crisis factors in activity of the Afghan state. In addition, the structure of the Afghan conflict multi-layered, as I mentioned before, previously, and therefore it's necessary to use the method to better understand the functional features of the participation of virus uh, forces in Afghan crisis. And all, all of your remarks are, remarks are accepted. Just, I really appreciate just it. I could learn from your remarks, all of your excellencies, and I, I, I will try and I will do my best to correct in the future scientific issues. And the, Uh, and uh, uh, thank you very much. As I say, if you have any, have any questions, uh, uh, I hope. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You can be seated. Thank you for your replies. Distinguished colleagues, now I would like to focus uh, or to address rather to our guests, to members of the audience, those who are not part of the dissertation board, now you can take the floor. If none is wishing to take the floor, so we move on. I would like to give the floor to the research supervisor, Professor Vasilyeva. Shall I speak into the mic? Shall I speak into Russian or in English? Well, whatever you wish to. Both languages are acceptable. Um, uh, dear Chairman, uh, members of the Dissertation Council, Abdul Ghaffar was my graduate student uh, for three years. During this time, he was able to write an interesting and uh, uh, practically significant study on the problem of settlement of the Afghan conflict. Uh, the choice of the topic was not accidental because Abdul Ghaffar is an Afghan public figure actually working on this issue. Moreover, now, and I think it's an interesting detail, in uh, difficult political conditions, Abdul Ghaffar has decided to run for the deputies of the Afghan parliament in order to realize his ideas of the peaceful future of his country. Uh, I think uh, that this dissertation uh, will be on practical importance I hope that the High Assembly will positively 
access the work of Abdul Gaffa. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Lekseva. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to start discussing uh, the issue of granting uh, this degree. I would like everyone who are not member, uh, er, who is not member of the dissertation council, uh, to leave the room. And I would like like to uh, uh, the sound of the broadcast.
Сейчас. Так, уважаемые коллеги, теперь наступил... Hey, colleagues, uh, the decisive moment has arrived in our defense, and I would like to table uh, the question of of uh, awarding the sword degree for for the vote and uh, this will be an open voting assist as uh, procedure so if uh, more than half of the uh, distinction council but not fewer than three uh, members of the station council vote uh, in favor of the decision then the decision on um, uh, what the degree is taken natalia alexander your opinion i am in favor of granting the degree of uh, candidate of political science Andrei Vladimirovich Tarapigin, I am for the for granting the sword degree. And uh, Andrei Rusagovich, uh, your opinion? I am in favor of the of granting the degree. Thank you very much. And um, I am the chairman. Uh, uh, Professor Pansarov uh, also votes for the decision to grant the to award the degree. So. And this, and uh, this light, um, I would like to declare that out of four members of the discussion council, uh, a eighty, uh, the number of members that voted in favor of uh, the uh, positive degree, four. Uh, voted for it and uh, no abstentions and no uh, no one voted against it so therefore the decree uh, in international relations um, uh, is uh, the decision is taken and I would like to congratulate you Mr. Batur with this decision and I uh, wish you all the best and I would like you I would like to give you the floor for your conclusion statement Uh, I would like to uh, appreciate the Russian government uh, for giving me opportunity in 2014 to continue my education in, in, uh, in this very uh, important university. I would like to appreciate from the president of university and from the dean of the university. And uh, uh, once again, I appreciate from your member of excellency, member of the commission. I really appreciate from my supervisor. She patient me three, during three years. It was not easy. Just I worked, I with and also family, and I had a, my organization. And out of that, I could come to for education. And she did a lot for me, and she guided me a lot. I really appreciate. And uh, I really appreciate from uh, Mr. David, who has read his uh, ideas reports to me from Jura Latipov as well. Jura Latipov uh, is my teacher in university in Russian Tajik Slavic University. And uh, I really appreciate from my parents, we, uh, and uh, from my wife, and also just being far from family, it's not too easy. And uh, I have my perspective activities in the future by getting this kind of knowledge, and it motivated me. And after five months, there will be election, parliament election in Afghanistan. And after three days, I'm be, I will be one of the candidates for Parliament of Afghanistan from Kabul. And by getting uh, knowledge from this university, it will make me more powerful. Thank you very much. Uh, again, from all of you, I appreciate it. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Abdul Ghaffar. And I would like uh, to hope that uh, your defense will contribute to the amelioration of relations between our two countries. And uh, thus, I declare the work of our dissertation council.